God chose. And so today, you want to go to heaven? God says, get on board. You're welcome. Those that get on board, going to heaven. Those that don't get on board, they're not going to be with God. He chose us. He made these plans in Christ. And the Bible says, in love he predestined us for adoption as sons. Now, some of you are sitting there thinking, well, I'm not a son. I'm a woman. I'm a daughter. Why doesn't it say sons and daughters? Let me tell you why. Paul is writing in the first century. The word son here is generic. It's like the word heath in the King James Bible. He that believes and is baptized. It doesn't mean women are excluded. It means humankind, person. And as sons, sons were the ones who inherited under Roman law. And daughters are included. And you females are sons of God. You're heirs. Let's use the word heirs. Inheritors. And you are adopted. Adopted. Are you adopted? Maybe you've, somebody here has been adopted. I don't know your history. Maybe you are. In March of 1984, Judy and I went to Fort Worth, Texas, and appeared before Judge Wright. And there was a nine-year-old girl She didn't have a home. She lived in an orphanage. She wanted a daddy and mommy. But nobody took her. So we said, we'll take her. She was nine years old. Her name was Tiana Marie Daniel. And we adopted her. She became Tiana Marie Warpula. And that was 33 years ago, or more, 35 years ago. She's married. She has two grandchildren, two children. They're our grandchildren. I went to see an attorney a few years ago, and I made out a will. He says, who do you want to be the inheritors of your estate? I said, well, I have four children. We only had three born to us. And I said, I have four. Because you see, when you're adopted, you get all the rights, all the privileges, all the provisions, and all the benefits of the natural born. You're equal. And those two children of hers that call us Granddaddy and Nano, they're not related to us by blood, but by grace. They're in the will. That happened right here in the Hammett family. Bob and Laura had five children. One day, Daddy came home with a little five-year-old boy. Didn't have a home. They took him in. His name was Larry Wiggins. Sometime later, Granddaddy Robert Hammond came home with a 12-year-old boy. His name was Johnny Patterson. Took him in. That means they had five children born to them, including Judy and Jeff. Two foster kids, two adopted later, Korean girls. You know the Korean girls, Julie and Angie. That's nine. Five born to Robert and Laura. Two foster permanent, two adopted, nine. And you know what the will says? I've read the will. Mama Hammett's still living. She's 97. Dad passed on in 2008. But you know, if time lasts and Mom passes on, you know what the will says? I've seen it. It says it's going to be divided in nine shares. Nine shares. Why? 
because those that were taken in and those that were adopted get the same. It doesn't say we're going to give the five shares to the, the farm to five shares and the four shares left get whatever's left in the basement. It doesn't say that. <laughs> they get it equally. The point I want to make, God has adopted us. And everything, listen to this now, everything God has in mind for Jesus, we get to share in. Everything. Because notice what it says. He has blessed us in the beloved. Now, I think the uh, NIV says, in the one he loves or in uh, the beloved one. But I want you to notice the uh, English Standard Version has got the Greek exactly right. He has blessed us in the beloved. That's the only time that word is in the Bible. The beloved. It's a noun. Now the adjectival form is, this is my beloved son. But that's in the Bible. But the beloved, right here, only time. Who is that? Jesus. He's the beloved. The one loved by God. But the one who was cursed and beaten and rejected and crucified by man. God loves you so much it hurts. He adopted you. He paid a price so that you can be his child. Now today, aren't you proud to be a Christian? I mean, happy, thank God. Aren't you? Aren't you? And so we're going to sing this song called All to Jesus I Surrender. Now let me tell you this. When you get Jesus, you get God. If you don't get Jesus, you don't get God. And the more you know about Jesus, the deeper and deeper and deeper you'll fall in love with God. Now, I've preached about Jesus today. And every sermon for the rest of my life, I want to talk about Jesus in some way or another. But I want you to know that if I could preach... For 10,000 years, every day about Jesus, that I would never, never, never exhaust the greatness of Jesus. And we're going to have all of eternity to talk about Jesus. That's what heaven's going to be about. Jesus, read the book of Revelation. Worthy is the Lamb. We're going to praise Him and serve Him forever and ever and ever. And we'll never exhaust the greatness of Jesus so God be the glory in the church God's people and in Christ Jesus forever and ever all to Jesus I surrender all to him I freely give now sing this song from your heart sing it with me and give your life to Christ now in your heart and then after the song we're going to take communion and as you take of that bread and eat of that juice. I want you to think of the body and blood of Christ given for you. For you! So that you can be with Him forever and forever and forever. Let's stand and sing. All to Jesus I surrender. All to Him I freely give. All to Jesus I surrender. All to Him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily live. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender. I surrender humbly at his feet I bow worldly pleasures all forsaken take me Jesus take me now I surrender all I surrender surrender all all to 
Jesus, I surrender. Lord, I give myself to Thee. Fill 